everyone, it's Vanessa. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing five back to school outfits, all from some of my favorite basic pieces. And today is actually a very exciting video because it is a collab with Haley Estrada. She is a fashion, lifestyle, and beauty YouTuber as well as Instagrammer. I absolutely love her style. It's definitely very minimalistic and neutral. But she is going to be picking from all of the basics that I have lined up here and creating five back to school outfits for you guys. And then I'm going to be styling them as well as on her channel we're going to be doing the exact same thing. I'm going to be picking her outfits and she's going to be styling them. So I'm going to let Haley introduce herself now. Hey guys, my name is Haley Estrada. I am a YouTuber and influencer based in Vancouver, British Columbia. So a fellow Canadian with Vanessa. I post a lot of minimal content on my YouTube channel and also my Instagram page. My style is definitely very simple and I wear a lot of neutrals. So I love to reuse pieces over and over again in different ways. I feel like it brings out a lot of creativity. And so that's definitely going to seep into the outfits that I style for Vanessa today. But you guys can find me at Haley Estrada. That's with two A's on the end at Instagram and Vanessa is going to link my YouTube channel below for you guys as well because she styled some back to school outfits for me too. So I am very excited to jump into Vanessa's wardrobe and style some outfits for you guys. So first I'll show you the shoes but like you I have a pair of AF1s. I have these navy blue and white Cortez Nikes. These kind of just simple black booties. And then I have two more pairs over here. Thank you. I've got a pair of I love neutral it. slides as well as a pair of black with a gold chain. All right. Good. Good options. So for bottoms, we first have this fitted neutral skirt. And it's also got the ruche and tie all down the side there. And then okay. a pair of just basic white sweats from Misguided. I don't know what material these are, but they're really kind of like a stretchy long pant. Like, they look super soft. They are. And then they're wide-legged at the bottom. We got another okay. skirt here. It's long and not quite as fitted as the first one, but it's still very okay. more structured. Got a pair of long straight denim. They've got a few rips at the knees, but they're pretty baggy as well. And then a pair okay. of lighter denim mom jeans. Okay. pair of skinnier leg but then they kind of flare in their ankle length of black jeans this i want to say it's almost like a dark gray silk shirt long sleeves it's kind it's, of like a charcoal yeah charcoal color would you say exactly and it's very like straight but okay. not fitted at all got this little black tank from aritzia it's got a little bit of like bodice detailing yeah i love that then we have this little lacy black tank so it's got a little bit of lace at the top. My favorite oversized tee, it's just Yves Saint Laurent, and then it's like this yes. brown. I actually want to get that t-shirt. My eventually. gosh, I <laughs> love it. It's one of my I favorites. Love the color. Thank you. Yeah. And then another TNA top, and it's got this kind of ruched detailing on both sides. It's fitted. Okay. Another fitted Cute. top, long sleeve. It's more of an athletic kind of wear top with the three-quarter yeah. zipper. Mm-hmm then this white tie top and it's it can either be open back or like tight at the front so it kind of depends yeah. and then like you i had a white just button up shirt but this is more of like more fitted i normally tie it up when i wear it i don't really button it up okay and then the last top is this bodysuit it is ribbed tna mm -hmm. one shoulder Cute. All right. Okay. So can I get just like a wide angle view of that yes. all? Okay. So I think I'm going to start with the casual. So let's grab the white sweatpants. Okay. And uh, let's grab the YSLT. So you can kind of do like a Parisian tuck, like a one tuck on one side with that. All right. Are those high waisted sweatpants? Yes, they are. Yeah, cute. Okay, so you can either do like a one side tuck or you could do like a tuck into the bra so that it's a cropped look. Okay. And then I think for that, uh, could you just show me the shoes there? I think I'm going to do the AF ones for that yeah, one. Yeah, I'd go with okay, that as cute. well. Cute. Okay. There we go. Um, okay, so yeah, that's so one of one. So then let's do, let's do those wide leg plaid trousers. 
So are those fitted on the thigh and the bum? Yes, and then they flare down. Okay, perfect. So let's do that, and then let's do the little tank top crop top from Maritzia the, with the little bodice detail. The black one. The black one, yeah. And then let's grab the... Hmm, can you just show me that white button down again? So would you say it's like an oversized fit? Not really. It's kind of just no. like the right fit type of okay. shirt. So. Um, okay, so... You could try that. You could try that over top and just like maybe have like the arm buttons undone so it's like looser and you can just roll up the sleeve. Okay, with the if that pants? If that doesn't work, yeah, with the pants. So I think like that would be a cute look if you want to go a little bit more like professional looking, I guess. Yeah. Like if you had like a school presentation or something like that. Even if it is a bit fitted, I feel like that works with the tighter pant on the bottom. Um... If that doesn't work though, you could try like putting a little white cardigan. I don't know if you have one of those uh, in your closet. Not on the rack obviously right now, no. but if you had one, um, you could try that. I or have, alternatively, I do, do have a black. One? I have a black one similar to what you're okay. talking about. Okay. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you could even try that and just like do a little monochrome moment on the top, so the little crop top is matching the sweater. Okay. But yeah, that's totally up to you, obviously. Um, and then the next outfit so let's take the blue jeans uh, so the lighter blue jean that's is that a mom jean yeah, style you mom said? jean okay and then can you just show me the tops again yep so this okay tank top fitted tee fitted athletic top wrap top bodysuit okay let's do the fitted like the nude or whatever mauve I think that's a mauve I'm not sure yeah the little t-shirt we'll do that one. Oh, I forgot to pick a shoe for the other outfit so for the wide leg plaid pant can you do the black loafer with that one yep let's bring those over here would the nude shoe match that I can't really tell with the coloring not with so much the... right with the pant right not really here I'll hold not it up next. no yeah no, they're more like match. brown so that's good. And then, so with the jean and the little mauve crop top, um, can I just see the shoes one more time? <laughs> okay. I honestly think I want to do AF ones with that look as well. Okay. Just yeah. to like keep it kind of cute and casual. Um, and then. Hmm. Okay, so we're up to that's three two, outfits. Yeah, two more. Let's try. What was the other pair of denim? It was a long straight oversized with some rips at the knees. Okay, let's try that one. And then with the black boot, I think. Okay. I was thinking of doing the little camisole top, but I think, no, maybe not that one. Okay. Let's try the black flowy top. I think the next outfit I'm going to do is another super okay. casual one. So I'm going to do the white sweatpant again. And then, yeah, white sweatpant. And then that little long sleeve. It's like a tight fitted one, right? Okay. So we'll do that. And I think let's try that with the Cortez sneakers. Okay. If those, if those don't really match, because obviously I can't see it on you. If those don't match super well, then you could try the AF one again. Okay. But yeah, I think I think those would be really cute back to school outfits. And it's kind of like a variety of what type of vibe you're going for, I guess, yeah. during school. Definitely a good yeah. mix of like casual versus more professional look. I like it. Yeah, I could definitely see my style like leaking yes. into my choices, <laughs> but I can't wait to see what it looks like on yeah, you. Yeah, I'm excited too. All right, bye. So be sure to go check out Haley's video as well, but we're gonna get to styling the pieces now. So this is the first outfit that Haley picked out for me. My favorite oversized tee, my YSL one, as well as these little white misguided trackies and my AF ones. This is definitely something I would see myself wearing all the time to school, especially as like a uni college student. I don't really like dressing up. I actually did a video last year on my favorite comfy outfits to wear to college or uni. So she suggested a one-sided tuck, which is exactly what I'm going to do for this look. So we're going to do just the one-sided tuck there because these are such an oversized pant. They kind of need that little bit of extra pull up. And then for my hair, I'm just going to pull it back into a clip, place some black sunnies on my head and call it a look. 
So this is definitely something I would wear all the time for back to school. I love track pants, sweatpants for the back to school season. They're definitely one of my favorite things to wear. And so this is look number one. So for the next look of Haley's, she paired the misguided long sleeve athletic top with my misguided trackies and AF1s again. I love this look because I feel like it's really sassy, so I'm actually gonna leave my hair down for this one. And for most of my looks, I pair them with a big chunky gold hoop and no jewelry just because there is the detailing on the top as well as the zipper. I wouldn't want to like mess it up with any necklaces. So this would be the look right here. I feel like it's super sassy. And then if you have one of those like little mini backpacks, just like add one of those. For me personally, I carry the same bag around all year with my books. So I don't really change up my bags for school. But if you are in high school still, definitely something you could rock with a little mini backpack. And this is the completed look. So this is the third outfit here. It's my little Aritzia tank top with the Aritzia kind of plaid pants, my little black slides, and then this white button down top just over the top. And honestly, this is not something I would usually wear. So it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm kind of liking how it looks. She said just to kind of wear this oversized, like kind of like an over shirt. What I'm gonna do with my hair though, is I'm gonna put it back into a low ponytail, pull out some pieces from the front, and that is it. I don't wanna add any sunglasses on the top just because it's a very like more business professional look, and I feel like just putting the sunglasses on would completely ruin that, it would make it so casual. Um, again, I just have big chunky hoops on with a simple gold necklace with a little pendant, and this is the completed look. So again, definitely not something I would normally wear. It's a bit out of my comfort zone, but I can definitely see Haley's style in this and I kind of like it. This next outfit was my little kind of nudie rust crop top from Aritzia with ruching on both the sides, mom jeans from The Gap, and then my Cortez's. So for this outfit, this is again something I would wear, but both Haley and I weren't too sure about how the Cortez's would look with the mom jean crop top duo. But I personally really like how it looks, how it's kind of like baggy and then you have the slim shoe with the crop top. So for this look, I'm going to put my hair back into a low bun and then I have these tortoise shell sunglasses and I'm just going to pop those on my head. This is a very more like in between that summer fall right at the beginning of back to school. Cause yeah, just Toronto can get really cold. So this is more like right beginning of September a look but it's really cute and I love how the mom jeans pair with the crop top. You have just this little bit of skin so it's not like too scandalous, but it's still something I would wear maybe on like a Friday, a more casual day of school. Nothing where I would have like a lab or anything, but this is the look. So for this last look, we have another more professional look. So Haley picked my kind of oversized blouse from Banana Republic with my oversized jeans and my little booties. I absolutely love these jeans with these booties, so she definitely picked a great combo. These are my favorite jean and boots jeans because they just kind of poke over the toe of my boots. These are such an oversized pair of jeans. So for my hair, I'm gonna go with the claw clip again just because I want something pulled back because everything is so oversized and baggy. I don't really want my hair down for this look. And then I could just leave it like this, like this total look isn't a horrible look, but I personally would tie the blouse in a little knot and tuck the knot under. I think it gives it just a little bit more of a casual essence and this would be the finished look. Super professional, but as well as like casual if you want to dress up a little bit, but not a lot because it's still comfy as well because the jeans are so oversized. But this is the completed look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little back to school outfits video and my collab with Haley. Be sure to go check out Haley's video as well because she styled her back to school outfits on her channel as well. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. I love you so much. Bye.